Yo, 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 it's Bullet Brawl. It's a Thursday. Everybody's feeling fantastic, aren't they? Well, I'm sitting here fishing right now. I am. I'm going fishing. I may need to change my bait a little bit and maybe lower the rating pool or something. Having trouble getting some of the stronger players to bite today's Bullet Brawl, so let's see what I can do here. Let's see what I can do. All right, well, look at that. I finally changed the bait enough here to get somebody on the hook. Somebody's on the line today. Let's see if we can get some kind of magic going. We're going to have a poison pawn, which means we are in for a party, and it is going to get weird and messy. So let's just make sure that we can keep this thing funky and fresh. I guess I'm going to play for h3 and g4 with this early d4 committed, although these poison pawn games, especially in bullet, they just get so crazy that it's it's hard to really say what the best ways are often to play. It really is. But my opponent is giving me a lot of pawns, and so I'm going to go ahead and take it here. What? I, I don't know what it is about my mouse that has such a hard time moving when I'm recording and playing at the same time. I feel like I'm dragging a cement block, and it gets incredibly frustrating. But he's going to move here. I'm going to take it. He's probably going to give a little check on c6, but I already anticipated that. And next I'm going to take on c3. If I can get away with it, why not? Okay, let's kick him out, and let's start attacking him on the b-file. All right, let's just trade queens and make this thing simple, as they say. I'm not exactly sure what this guy's thinking or doing right now, so I'm going to go ahead and go get a queen, because queens, especially when they come with double check, are often are often just keys to victory. All right, well, that's checkmate. I wonder if I can pause for a moment before I just do the normal gambit here and and run a best two out of three or something with, with the bullet brawl opponent. I wonder if I can go back to doing a regular search and see if I can get one of the one of the top players to bite, because I know you're all sitting there thinking, man, we want Danny to play an I or a GM. We want to see him on the ropes and get taken down, but... Hope you're enjoying this video here today. Hope you're following me on Twitter. Oh, looks like my opponent accepted the rematch. So he didn't accept the rematch directly, but he decided to accept the rematch once I did the search. So let's go ahead and not go for the craziest variations of the Smith Mora and do something kind of weird. So we'll see. We'll see what this weird stuff amounts to. Go ahead and bring the rook over here. Wow, I'm not sure that this is going so great for me. But let's go ahead and try to... Okay, he wants he wants the e-file, faux show. Oh, I think he should have played f6. That was a mistake by me. To even allow that possibility, but he didn't see it. So now I'm going to give this check and go take this pawn. I'm still in a bit of a tricky spot as far as the... Uh, evaluation of this position goes. I'm still in a little bit of a tricky spot. I'm going to go after the piece, see if I can't get away with that. Get away with murder, as they say. And um, I just don't want to, I don't ever want to lose. It makes me sad. You know, summertime sadness. We got that summertime, the bullet time sadness, and we don't want it today. We don't want the bullet time, bullet time sadness. That song is so weird and so catchy, am I right? You got the bullet time, bullet time sadness. Okay. Well, this guy is... Okay, but even with this, you're just giving me a queen, big guy. So, well, that's two in a row, but you know, the last time we had a bullet brawl and I did a marathon, people were kind of happy. So I, and I, I just, I want to get one of my title player brethrens on the line here. So let's go ahead and issue some direct challenges. We'll do one... Let's go ahead and do two. That way these guys will see they got challenged and they declined on live television, on live bullet brawl television, right? If I play Thomas Rendell, it's going to be the attempt at some revenge. Last time he and I played on the bullet brawl setting anyway, I think I ended up getting it handed to me, right? But but not today. I've got the eye of the tiger, right? Oh, there it is. Well, he calls my bluff, doesn't he? I got the eye of the tiger, right? 
the fire inside me, and you're going to see me roar. Hashtag Katy Perry. And another another catchy tune that is just too much often to take. Those those catchy tunes these days, they're just so sassy, so catchy. All right, I'm doing I'm doing what I want to do. Doing what I want to do today. Really? All right, well I just I think that I think that all is going to be okay in the end. All is going to be okay. I'm going to keep my queen dominantly posted. Plus, I want to open up. Ooh, ooh, he does that. Well, can I take and then shake and bake? I don't know if I can take and shake and bake, but I'm going to develop my bishop out here. If he takes, I'll take with the pawn. Defending against the threats. The threats of taking the f5 pawn with check. Wow, really? He can do this, huh? Interesting. I guess I kind of have to let him. I guess I kind of have to let him. It doesn't feel good what's happening here. Yeah, it seems whoever's recording between me and Thomas, the other guy has a has a big advantage. <laughs> right now, it definitely seems that way. I'm not sure what to do here. Ugh. Ugh. You know, I guess I'll go take this pawn. I expect him to take with check. And he's going to come back, and I'm going to be in big trouble here, basically. I am going to be in big trouble here, basically. I'm probably losing now, right after queen a6, yeah. All right, well, this 2-0 bullet brawl just went to 2-1, to one, but things just got real, as they say, up on the hood, right? No more counting dollars. It's time to count stars here on the bullet brawl that is today. I need to get my pre-move on against Thomas because I just have trouble keeping up with the speed once push starts coming to shove. So that is that is part of the issue here. And it worries me. It worries me for show. Well, we'll see what he wants to do. Yeah, he decides he he doesn't want none of it. Wes running this. Doesn't want none of it. Wes running this. I don't think he saw that coming. Dun -a -dun -a -dun. That's Mac 10, in case you're keeping track at home, kids. Used to be a gangster rapper back in the day. Mac 10 did. Back in the day when... Back in the day... I love saying back in the day. It's like my favorite thing to say. Just makes me feel like, ooh, well that gives me the bishop. And so I will take it, yeah? Doing it, liking it. There's that English accent coming out that I just can't help but use when it comes to playing Thomas Rendell. The other day when I was playing him on Hack Attack, I had to turn that baby off. You can go check out that Hack Attack highlight pretty soon here. It was quite the battle by me and Tomaz. But his just English accent, it just gets inside my head and says, ooh, I'm sexy, right? Listen to me. I'm talking here, you know, I'm sexy, and listen to me, love. And it's like, oh, right, you are so sexy, love. Um, that's basically what I hear. I know you guys are like, I've never actually heard that out of, a, out of an English man's voice, Danny. But that's what I hear, okay? And I'd appreciate if you had some understanding about my perspective. But like I said, I got the Katy Perry Eye of the Tiger right now, and I would really like for him to hear me roar. I want to get all up in this. Ooh, that's nice for him, yeah? That is rather nice. I have to play this weird-looking move, f6. Now I'm defending. Now I'm defending. And he's... He's playing rather well. I'm not sure what to do here. Should I get my knight out of... He's gonna play the knight in. I feel like I just need to move this knight away from the danger. Danger. Danger, Will Robinson. Yeah, it didn't really help, though, did it? No, it did not. Really, really did not help my cause, what just happened there. Yeah, he's going to give a little check of Ruski. Oh, no, he didn't. Okay, well, I guess I'll... Oh, wait, the real problem here is time again. Time and time again, I cannot compete with the time that is going on in these games. I just can't do it. Oh, that's mate. 
All right. Well, you know what? After the first two games and then a uh, a best of three here with International Master Thomas Rendell, you can subscribe to us, our Twitch channel, and you can follow Thomas on Twitter as well, at T. Rendell. Let's get a little pop-up there for at T. Rendell, a little shout-out. Go subscribe to Twitch. I'll give you a little um little preview, a little taste of what's coming on Chess.com. You may see a lot more happening on our Twitch channel very soon. Almost all of our regular Chess TV experiences. Ooh, right? Little teaser. Yeah, he's like, oh, right, I like it when Danny says it. All right. Well, anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and get back to work here and let Thomas Rendell take the two out of three. Yeah, he just commented White has the edge. He's right. When we play, White seems to have the edge. So, so I guess that's how it is. But we're going to go ahead and call it a day for this Bullet Brawl, and we will see you around over on Chess.com.